To understand social change, we need to consider how individual lives change through time. This is taking what we call the longitudinal perspective. I am Professor Heather Joshi. With ESRC support, I've been part of a dedicated group of social scientists who have been tracking social change in Britain for generations through the British Birth Cohort Studies. The findings from these studies have shaped the world we live in and the policies that underpin our social system, and like the work of Sir John Hills, provided the evidence informing political decisions to reduce inequalities. My research career began in 1979 at the ESRC Centre for Population Studies. I had always been interested in the economic role of women and the changes over the generations in its compatibility with motherhood. I came from a line of female forebears with exceptionally high educational achievements for their time, but whose careers had been curtailed by marriage and motherhood. This led to my interest in promoting the UK's world-leading longitudinal data resources for future users and to do justice to the contributions already made. In 1994, I joined the management team of the British Birth Cohort Studies, becoming director of the Millennium Cohort Study in the year 2000. I'm probably most proud of the contribution I've made to developing Britain's birth cohort studies into pivotal policy resources. Today, these studies are also used by thousands of researchers worldwide, influencing thinking on issues from educational and social inequalities to mental health and now the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. They have also inspired similar studies from around the world, from France to Ethiopia and New Zealand. Heather's made an extraordinary contribution in her role as director of three of the UK's birth cohorts. And it's impossible to overstate the importance of her perseverance, together with John Bunner, in getting funding to ensure the survival of the cohort studies during the 1980s and 90s. She was also a crucial voice in making the Millennium Cohort Study happen, 30 years after the previous cohort, and has been an influential advocate for the new Early Life Cohort. Heather's always believed in the potential of social research to drive real change, and her own research has been critical in developing fairer policies for working women and mothers. In the 1990s, I was able to contribute to a mounting debate on the treatment of pension assets in divorce proceedings. My colleagues and I had used longitudinal data to explore how women's lifetime incomes and pensions reflected the earnings penalties of motherhood. We went on to work with departments and parliamentary committees through successive governments on their draft legislation, which eventually led to improved pension rights for women and the fairer single-tier system enforced today. I also played a critical role in pushing forward the legislative priorities for the government during the late 1990s and early 2000s. We were able to show that the children of working mothers developed just as well as those whose mothers stayed at home. The findings encouraged the government to pursue policies supporting working families. In 1999, I was a lecturer at the London School of Economics and I was seconded to their newly established women's unit in the Cabinet Office. And when I was there, I commissioned um, Heather Joshi to uh, produce a report on the cumulative effects of the pay gap, both in terms of women's pension entitlements, in terms of their ongoing benefits entitlements, what it meant if they work part time. This was really a groundbreaking report and um, it was used right over Whitehall. So we went to Treasury, to the Prime Minister's unit, um, to the Department for Work and Pensions. Policies affecting how women manage their working and family lives have struggled to keep pace with social change. My research has informed both political decisions to support working mothers to the benefit of them and their families. As the percentage of paid workers who are mothers has gone up, any impact on children has diminished. There has been an increasingly friendly environment for families who combine paid work with raising children. Pension reform was a critical piece of this puzzle. The move to a single-tier system brought forward equal pension rights by a decade and the introduction of pension sharing protected thousands of women from losing out on their incomes in old age. The ESRC has been a steadfast investor in the UK's social science data infrastructure and the cohort studies in particular. None of my work or the work of so many other users of longitudinal data would have been possible without this investment.